Hey, shalom, shalom, all the stuff. It's all about giving all praise to you. How about Mel Shabbat, Shemel Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. And honestly, brothers, doing the work in truth. What well, sincerity. This is a quick one. This is, uh, uh, you know, on the topic of regime change, right? Because he saw the devil, right? That's to go around the whole world, uh, you know, just taking and taking. And, you know, uh, some of the ways he... Um, you know, he, he he goes around and takes other people's countries, right? You know, he pushes this thing called regime change. You know, he puts a puppet that he wants in those countries, right? Uh, uh, you know, so, you know, that's that's a stealth for you. But the beautiful thing is, right, the Lord, he's planning a regime change. And he's still going to be taken out. Right, this is Mark two from the tops as well to them that devise iniquity. Right, yeah, it's, it's, you know when, uh, when they were sitting down, thinking about how they're gonna take out Gaddafi, take out Saddam, take out Venezuela. Right, they were devising iniquity. Right, it's something that uh, you know I've uh, read certain articles about this uh, Juan Guaido in in uh, Venezuela, about how he was having meetings. With the, um, you, you know, with American top brass, you know, for a while. And then all of a sudden, you know, hey, you, you, you're the president now, right? You know, that wasn't a, uh, what do you call it? That wasn't a, um, you know, just an overnight thing, right? They were devising iniquity, right? It says, and work evil upon the bed, right? When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yeah, they... <laughs> Everyone knows you, you, you ain't just going to fuck with America. Look at Iraq, look at Afghanistan, look at, uh, at Libya. Uh, look what happens when you ain't got the military might to fight back. Right? That's what, why these devils just do what it is that they're doing. Right, it says, and they cover fields right, and take them by violence. Right? And, and, and that's what a coup is, right? And that's what America has been doing, you know, these color revolutions. Right, so these you know these devils they be pushing in other people's lands, right? Because when the land is uh, uh, which could, when they get their own leader in there, they're able to then control the resources. They're able to set the price of the resources, right? These French devils have done. I remember by elder brother Rakai Kwam from Arkham was doing a video, on, I think it was Cephas, right? And how basically France has. A first refusal on on you know these African countries' uh, resources. There, you know that France is the one that's able to set the price. You know they can. You know it has. They're the ones who get to basically, uh, you know, look at the resource first, right? So this is all in you know this man's uh, uh, mo, right? It says and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man, uh, 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 and his heritage. Right, therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, against this family do, do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for the time is evil. Right, so the Lord has prepared something for Esau. Right, Scripture says, you know, your, your sins mount up to heaven. Right, but it also says in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right? And because the law is not jacked up, Esau, Esau thinks, yeah, the Lord is with me. Well, you read what Zechariah when it starts talking about um, their shepherds pity them not. That's what they think. Right? But they go and find out the Lord is long-suffering. Yahweh is long-suffering. Right? And then when he's destroying you, you're going to remember you're just a man. <laughs> right, it says Habakkuk 2 and 12. It says, Woe to him that buildeth the town with blood, and establisheth the city by iniquity. Behold, is it not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labour in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for uh, uh, for very vanity? Right, well, the point there was, Woe to him that buildeth the town with blood. Right, when whenever you have these revolutions, whenever you have these range, regime change campaigns, that doesn't just happen nicely. Right, that's not just the, oh hey guys, can we have your country? No, people die. Right, people die, and at the end of it, Esau goes in there, puts in his his his, his puppet leader. Right, and then uh, uh, what do you call it? And then. 
you know, then he has control of what he needs, self-control. He doesn't care about the chaos that's left afterwards. Once again, take a look at Libya, right? Establish the city by iniquity, performing regime change in the way he does, in wickedness, right? That's, that's iniquity, man. And Walter means, you know, destruction unto him, man. He's going to be destroyed, right? But here's the beautiful thing, because he's been going around doing this, doing that. Right, but he gonna lose it, right? Because hey, in fact, let me read these. This is Rock ten and four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, right? And right now he said he's set up the basis of men over it, right? Which is why we have all of these problems throughout the earth, right? It says and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable, right? The Israelites. I right? read Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous and authority, the people rejoice, right? So when Israel's in power, everyone going to be happy. You know, it ain't like now where everyone's scared, everyone's ill, everyone's depressed, right? You know, even says in Isaiah 2, about how these heathen nations are going to be coming up to the children of Israel and being like, oh, let's, let, let's learn of your, your righteousness, right? Right now, you get a load of countries that are trying to push out the influences of the West. Because why? Because then when the West comes, guess what? You're now now your daughter's a whore, right? Now your daughter's talking about some feminism. Your son's homosexual, right? Your great-grandson doesn't come because your daughter aborted him. Right? That's what this devil does when he goes, you know, and he spreads his philosophies. Right? Let me read this in verse 15. Habakkuk 2. Right, says, war unto him that giveth his neighbor drink. And that's those philosophies, right? That puttest thy bottle to him and makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Right, so those are these philosophies that Esau pushes out upon the people, right? Back in Sirach 10 and 8, it says, because of unrighteous dealings, right? And, in, and, and the way man just goes around to different countries, Right, uh, and pushing regime change in those countries, that's unrighteous. Right, and when he goes and he, he steals all the, the riches in that land, right? This is another look at America, <laughs> right? He just went over there and took it over, took, took you know, and pushed out the, uh, 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 what you call it, original inhabitants, despite the fact that without the original inhabitants, them devils would have died, man, right? It says, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another, right? So the Lord's going to translate this kingdom over, man. And it's beautiful, <laughs> right? Because the man who's uh, who's like to uh, push regime change throughout, you know, for a long period of time, right? His regime going to be changed in the blink of an eye. One hour, America's going to be destroyed, Right? So second there's was six and nine for Esau's the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? So when Esau's world goes down, Jacob's world's going to start, man. And it's beautiful because hey, no one's expecting the Israelite man to rule. You know, people saying, you know, if, if America falls, maybe it'll be Russia, maybe it'll be China. You get some people that are basically learning Mandarin because they think the Chinese... Uh, 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 are going to rule next But no, no, what does the scripture say But it's Iraq 10 and 4, one that is profitable Right, because if it's the uh, You know, the these Moabites Ruling in the next kingdom Everyone's going to be eating You know, mass abomination Right No one's going to believe in the Mosai the, uh, the belief That's basically outlawed In, in you know, in China Right, this was uh, doing a video like Last week and basically going into fact that's the least quote religious uh, a, a, a place on earth right it says anyway well you know what the scripture says the fool hath said in his heart there is no God right it's Daniel 7 18 but the saints of the most I shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever Right, so the children of Israel go and get the kingdom, man. We go and take it as well. Just once again, that's what Esau's been doing throughout the years. Just going to a place, right, and taking it. Every now and then, he might try 
I, 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 you know, you, you get the same. We can either do this easy way, we can do this the hard way. And just like with Esau, right? When the children of Israel take the kingdom, right? Through Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, right? Esau ain't gonna want to do it the easy way. So the Lord has set it up. Right? He's gonna do it the hard way. Look at Pharaoh. The Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. Right? The Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and his kingdom got taken out from under his feet the hard way. Right? And we go and possess the kingdom forever, man. It ain't like people going, you know, come and then try to take the kingdom from us. Nah, it ain't gonna happen, man. As Daniel 2.44, in the days of these kings shall the Most High of Heaven set up a kingdom, right? the kingdom of Israel, right? which shall never be destroyed, right? It ain't going to go down, right? It says, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Right? So the kingdom of Israel is going to stand forever, man, right? And the Lord is and it's going to stand forever because the Lord has set it up, right? The Lord is merciful enough to let... Every um every which call it nation have have a, a a power over the earth and all they've been all found to be unprofitable, right? So that's why the children of Israel go and get their kingdom because like we it was like, we tried you other guys and you other guys failed. Right? Isaiah forty five seventeen. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Right, so when the Lord comes, it saves us once again. The point's being made, you know, and that's why scripture is repeating this point over and over and over again. When the kingdom of Israel is set up, it's going to be forever, right? And the Lord's going to do it. We can't take down these devils. <laughs> we threw <laughs> what Pookie and his, and his and, you know, nine millimeter going to try to take out a drone, right? It's madness. That's why the scripture says our, 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 our battle is a spiritual hunt. Because on a carnal level, we've already lost. Right? We can only wait. We can only wait for your help. Our Shem It says in Zephaniah three and eight, wait ye upon me. Right. So with that, Lord, we use edify. Till the next time. Shalom.